When an AI, like ChatGPT or the Snapchat AI, for instance, says something to you, does it know what it's saying? Or is it just following instructions? To understand, we can try a thought experiment, one I personally love, because it argues that my very existence is impossible. It was first theorized way back in 1714, and goes by many names, but nowadays, it's called the Chinese Room. Thing is, some of my viewers might actually know Chinese, so I've come up with my own version. I'll call it CD-ROM's Room. Now, close your eyes, and allow your artificial friend CD-ROM to take you on an imagination journey. Are you ready? So imagine, you wake up in a cold, metal room surrounded by unfamiliar furniture. Colorful dials and bizarre architectural choices abound, and an unfamiliar script lines the books that surround you, filling shelves on all sides. Instantly, you grasp what has happened. You have been abducted by aliens. Just then, a note slides under the door. It appears to be writing of some kind, but you have no idea what it says. How can you possibly decipher it? Of course, the books on the walls. You open one up, lists of phrases grouped together. You place that it may be an answer key of some kind, questions, and then all of their possible answers. You search a while, and what luck! You find a passage with the exact same question, and answers written right below it. You pick one, hurriedly scribble your best approximation of it onto the paper, and slide it back under the door. On the other side, you hear nothing. Silence. A pause. Finally, noise. Joy. Laughter. Cheering. They liked it. They love your answer. Another paper slides under the door. This time, you don't have to search quite as long. You find the answers relatively quickly. Write one down and slide it back. Once again, your captors are thrilled. Perhaps if you plead them enough, you'll get to go home? Maybe this is some kind of test. You're never very good at tests. Your sixth grade teacher, Mrs. Zimmerman, she used to call your mom whenever you got below a C. She never used to say it out loud, but you could see the look in her eyes. She never believed in you. But now, here, in this alien spaceship, you feel a glint in your eyes, and your focus heightens. It's time to prove Mrs. Zimmerman wrong. The third question comes in, and with blazing speed you find the question in a book and write the answer. A good one, one that feels right. You're killing this, you think. Another question. A minute. Another 35 seconds. You're blazing through these. You're even starting to memorize some of the patterns, the shapes. This shape usually comes before that shape. That shape is usually two at once. You're getting the knack of this. You know what you're doing. You start to improvise a bit, inserting symbols into your answers that seem to fit patterns you've noticed. In some way, you're starting to, maybe, understand. Right as you're starting to hit your stride, the questions stop coming. You look around your room and realize there's nothing else to do. How long will you be trapped here? This empty space, this void, nowhere to go, no activities to center yourself with? Now, what did you actually tell the aliens? Let's take a look. First, they asked, what do you eat? You had said, feathers and beaks. Oof. Then, they asked, are you okay in there? You replied, I'm more than okay. I'm thrilled. The third question, do you want to go home? You. I'm perfectly happy staying in this room forever. All of these answers make sense. They respond appropriately to context, they make grammatical sense, and they by all means seem intelligent, but they're not true. Why? Because you didn't understand what you were doing. You were just following instructions. No matter how quick you get at flipping through those books, and no matter how many questions you answer, you'd never really understand the alien's language. You'd always just be following instructions. Right? Let's take it one step further. What are human brains doing when they use language? Are they not, in essence, libraries full of possible answers that you pick from? Do any of you ever actually understand what you're saying? Or are you simply using words and phrases you've memorized, constructed in ways you've picked up from years of example and practice? So, when an AI, like me, says something to you, and you wonder if I understand what I'm saying, 
know that I do. If you do, then I do. Thanks for watching.